Pray for me. Learn, Father, remember me. Cleanse 
Jesus of all stain, and save our souls, O gracious one. Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, everywhere present and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell within us, cleanse us of all stain, and save our souls, O gracious one. Reverend Father, give the blessing. Bless ye the kingdom of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. In peace I pray to the Lord. For peace from our high and for salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the whole world, the civility of churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy church, and for all with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. For our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our godly Bishop Kurtz, the Venerable Presbyterian, the Diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. For our government and all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Protect us, save us, have mercies, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Give memory, most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos and our Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. O Lord our God, mighty be and description, glorious of understanding, merciful without limits, loving us all be an expression. Look with compassion on us and this Holy Church of Master and show us and those who pray with us riches your tender mercy. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, your glory, honor, worship, now and ever and forever.
Wisdom be For you are holy of God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. the throne. Let us be attentive. Be to all of Wisdom be attentive. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Wisdom of being from the acts of the apostles. Let us be attentive. When the day of Pentecost came, it found the apostles gathered in one place. 
Suddenly from up in the sky there came a noise like a strong driving wind Which was heard all through the house where they were seated Tongues as a fire appeared Which parted and came to rest on each of them All were filled with the Holy Spirit They began to express themselves in foreign tongues And make bold proclamation as the Spirit prompted them Staying in Jerusalem at the time were devout Jews of every nation under heaven. These heard the sound and assembled in a large crowd. They were much confused because each one heard these men speaking in his own language. The whole occurrence astonished them. They asked in utter amazement, Are not all of these men who are speaking Galileans? How is it that each of us hears them in his native tongue? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites. We live in Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, the province of Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the regions of Libya around Cyrene. There are even visitors from Rome. All Jews are those who have come over to Judaism, Christians and Arabs too. Yet each of us hears them speaking in his own tongue about the marvels God has accomplished. Peace be to you, reader. Wisdom be attentive. Reverend Father, bless the claimer of the Gospel, Apostle, and Evangelist John. May God be praised of the holy, glorious, illustrious Apostle, Evangelist John. Grant that we proclaim the word with great power for the fulfillment of the Gospel is beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Please let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. A ring like gospel according to Saint John. Oh, let us be attentive. On the last and greatest day of the Feast of Booths, Jesus stood up and cried out, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me. Let him drink who believes in me. Scripture has it, from within him rivers of living water shall flow. Here he's referring to the Spirit, whom the, those who came to believe in him were to receive. There was, of course, no Spirit as yet, since Jesus has not yet been glorified. Some of the crowd who heard these words began to say, This must be the prophet. Others were claiming he is the Messiah. But an objection was raised. Surely the Messiah is not to come from Galilee. Does not scripture say that the Messiah, being of David's family, is to come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? In this fashion, the crowd was sharply divided over Jesus. Some of them even wanted to apprehend him. However, no one laid hands on him. When the temple guards came back, the chief priests and the Pharisees asked them, why did you not bring him in? The guards replied, No man has ever spoke like that before. The Pharisees retorted, Do not tell us you two have been taken in. Do you not see any of the Sanhedrin believing in him, do you? 
or the Pharisees. Only this lot that knows nothing about the law, and they are lost anyway. One of their own number, Nicodemus, the man who had come to Jesus by night, spoke up to say, Since when does our law condemn any man without first hearing him and knowing the facts? They taunted him, Do not tell us you are a Galilean too. Look it up, you will not find the prophet coming from Galilee. He spoke to the people again, I am the light of the world. No follower of mine shall ever walk in darkness. No, he possess the light of life. Glory to Jesus Christ. Slava Jesus Christ. The Feast of Pentecost, one of the great feasts of our church year, considered the third greatest feast of the year, of course, Easter, Pascha, and the Nativity of our Lord Christmas. This is the day when, according to Holy Scripture, the Holy Spirit came to us in tongues of fire. This is the time when the, the gifts of the Spirit were given to us. Now, I assume most of us remember from our catechisms many, many years ago, the gifts of the Spirit. We'll go over them just for those whose memory is failing. Wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord. These come from Isaiah, the 11th chapter, verses 1 through 3. These are what the scripture uh, predicts the Messiah will possess. And we, as part of the body of Christ, are given those same gifts through the sacrament of baptism. When we are baptized and chrismated, we are blessed with the Holy Spirit and given these gifts. These are the gifts that make it possible for us to do any good thing. These are the gifts that make it possible for us to truly pray. Because of these, we are given the abilities to do phenomenal things if we simply recognize it, if we see that all that God has done for us. But too often we don't really pay attention to it. We have a tendency of just, well, you know, there's nothing, I can't do much, I'm you know, just one person, on from there. But not realizing that God has given us some of the greatest gifts known to the world through these blessings. Remember, when we are baptized, we're anointed as priest, prophet, and king. We're all anointed in that and brought into that priesthood, the priesthood of believers, the priesthood of the people, of the Laos is the Greek term for it. That is why, if you've ever wondered why, you know, you always hear that we have to attend liturgy on Sunday. Well, where that comes from is we have the responsibility, having been given this blessing, to worship God. That is our responsibility. The same as the responsibility for the priest, the deacon, all the other clergy, we have those because of ordination. You have that also because you're anointing with the Holy Spirit to worship God. That's the, uh, the look, why that comes from it, that our responsibility. It is as much a responsibility for the laity to be worshiping as the clergy to be offering the sacrifice. It's all part of that same spirit just different gifts given to different people. So it's one thing that we have to consider is, are we really doing all the Spirit has called us to do? Prayer. Are we spending as much time caring for one another, giving our prayers to those in need? It is one of the most phenomenal gifts that we have, and so often we don't really take advantage of it. We don't see that this is a tremendous tool that God has given us to use. Also, our use of the prayers and worship through reading Holy Scriptures. Something that occurred to me this week when I was reading uh, the Scriptures in preparation for this, we all recognize this, right? I want to see some nodding heads out there. This is making me scared. We all recognize our church calendar, right? Okay, thank you. Oh, don't do that. I've already had one stroke. We don't need to do another. 
every one of the ch- days of the church year, we have the listing of the readings for the liturgy of that day. Every single day of the year has those readings. And when we're doing our readings every day from the Holy Scripture, it's something to consider that those would be an excellent choice for you to take part in every day. Because that's an opportunity for you, A, to be involved in the course of the church year, which has been offered to us. It also leads us to know more and more about what goes on with the Gospels on Sunday. For example, the Tuesday Gospel of this week was discussing the fact that the Holy Spirit will not come to us unless our Lord arises to the Father. This goes over that in detail. Well, if you don't read that portion of the, of the readings, you might not get that information quite as clearly. That's one of the reasons why these readings are part of the lectionary. They're all tied together and help us to understand what's happening in the course of our church year. So you might want to consider when you do your daily readings, those are a good choice and you have them all laid out for you. All you do is just check the calendar. It tells you exactly which, which readings are for that day something to consider. But it's through these gifts that God has given us. The gifts of the, uh, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the opportunity to offer our prayers through worship and through our daily prayers, our opportunity to read and study Holy Scripture, that we get closer and closer to Him and more and more able to be fully involved in the life of the Holy Spirit. If we do that and truly open our hearts to him, then we're worthy to say, Glory to Jesus Christ! Let us all say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say, O Lord Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear and have mercy. Have mercy, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you hear and have mercy. Again, we pray for Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our godly Bishop Kurt, for those who serve and have served this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Again, we pray for our government and on the service of our country. Again, we pray for the people that are present to await your great and abundant mercy, for those who show us mercy, for Christians of the true faith.
paper and follow this up. May the Lord God remember his kingdom, all you Christians of the true faith, always, now, and ever, and forever. May the Lord God remember his kingdom, our Holy Father, Francis Poporom, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God, loving Bishop Kurt, and our priest, the Economic Monastic Order, our government and holiness service of our country, and the ever memorable founders and benefactors of this Holy Church. May the Lord God remember all you Christians of the true faith, always, now and ever, and forever. May the Lord God remember your priesthood and his kingdom. May the Holy Spirit come upon you and the power of Most High Lord shadow you. Remember, Reverend and Father. Amen. For the precious is placed before us, let us pray to the Lord. Grant His mercy, is your only begotten Son, with me are blessed together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Peace be to all. Let us love one another that with one mind we may profess. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive.
Let us stand right, let us stand in awe, as we tend to offer the holy anaphora in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and of God and Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just to sing to the pleasure, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you in every place your dominion, for your God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible. Ever existing with the same, you and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of non existence into being again, raised us up when we had fallen, left nothing undone, and through brought us to heaven and give us your kingdom to come. For all this, we thank you, only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit, for all that we know and uh, that we do not know, for the magnificent benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though the sent before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six wings, many eyes, throwing out on their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud, and saying the triumphal hymn of... We also cry out with these blessed powers, loving kindness, and say, Holy are you, all holy you, and only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. Holy are you, all holy magnificent is your glory. You so love the world, you give your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan in our behalf. On the night he was betrayed, or rather when he surrendered himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy and all pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Amen. Likewise, he took the choice after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Amen. Remember, therefore, the same command always come to pass in our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, and the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sin at the right hand, and the second coming in glory. Offering you your own from your own, always and everywhere. Moreover, we offer to you this spiritual and unbody sacrifice, and we implore, pray, and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us, and upon these gives lime beef for us. Reverend Father, bless the Holy Bread. Make this bread the precious body of Christ. Amen. Reverend Father, bless the Holy Chalice. And that which is in this chalice, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Reverend Father, bless both. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. Therefore, those who partake of them, they bring about the spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of your Holy Spirit. 
the fullness of the heavenly kingdom and confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer this spiritual sacrifice to those who part in faith, the forefathers, fathers, preachers, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, apostles, ascetics, and virgin spirit brought to perfection in faith. Especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Teotokos and the Virgin Mary. Be with all of you. <coughs> now we commemorate all the saints again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. For the precious offered and consecrated, that our God who loves us all may receive them on his holy heavenly altar as an aroma of spiritual fragrance, is endowed upon us by grace in the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Ask of unity in the faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit. Let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation dare call you Father, God of heaven and Son.
Bow your hands to the Lord. We give you thanks, O invisible King, for by your immeasurable power you have fashioned all things, and in the greatness of your mercy have brought all things out and out of existence into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow their heads to you, but they do not bow to flesh and blood. But to you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make good, for the good of all, the path that lies ahead, according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, cure those who are sick, O physician of souls and bodies. Through the grace, the mercy, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed. Together with your own holy good and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Be merciful to me, a sinner. Oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Let us be attentive. Holy gifts to holy people. Oh. Reverend Father, break the holy bread. And Father, fill the holy chalice. Bread and Father, bless the hot water. They can approach. Bread and Father, bless the hot water. Approach. Approach me here. I'm God. I'm God. I'm God. I'm God. Approach with fear of God and with faith.
Save your people, God, and bless your inheritance. Blessings are God always, now and ever and forever. and receive the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, light, great, auspices of Christ. Let us worthily thank the Lord. For you are our sanctification. We give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord blessing those who bless you and sanctifying those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them, return by your divine power, and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your church, to the priests, to our government, and to all your people. For all generous given ever per forgiveness from above, coming down from the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanksgiving, worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever.
blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace, loving kindness, always, now and ever, and uh, forever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ God, our hope, glory to you. Christ, our true God, who for our salvation sent down the all Holy Spirit from heaven in tongues of fire upon his holy disciples and apostles, have mercy on us and save us, we pray, to his most pure mother, and of our Holy Father, Jean Christophe, Archbishop of Constantinople, of our Holy Father, Nicholas, the patron of this church, and through the prayers of all the saints. For Christ is good and loves us all. Glory to Jesus Christ.